Hello, ladies. I think we're already recording. So nice to see you. So nice to see you all. So nice. Thank you all for coming. Oh, so beautiful. If you can turn on your videos, I can see you. Oh, so nice to see you. So familiar faces, Renate, Luis, Tana, Beatrice, amazing, Katie, Joel. Also some new ones, Petra Dorota that I don't know. Katrina is there. Oh, Christine, I Dina, Ibsen, some names I just know, but I don't know. Wiebke is here, our teacher trainer, Antonia Pfeiffer, Linda, Mara, Elise, Katrina, Mary, Sarina is here, our mentor, Bianca, Katrin, Nora is back, Brit. Oh my God, three pages of women. Salome, Katrin. Ah, so many. <laughs> So nice to see you all. I'm really so happy that all of you turned up here. So many. Oh my God, that's amazing. I really love to see you. So beautiful. And we have also expanded our, our Zoom capacity. So in case 500 people, come, they can all come. Oh, you need to be muted. It should be, um, yes, you all need to be muted at the moment because later we will... Um, we will, of course, um, have time to talk, but first we will dance. But I still want just to know, let us know in the chat where you come from, because I would really love to see what time zones we're having. And it would be also nice, maybe you want to meet each other because you know in the chat, you can also direct message each other. And Wiesbaden, Germany, Hannover, Germany, Berlin, Finland, amazing, Berlin, Belgium. Poland, Wiesbaden, New York, Germany, Kiev, New Jersey, Stockholm, Massachusetts, California, Romania, New London, UK, Miami, South Africa, Cambridge, Budapest, <laughs> Columbus, Ohio, Toronto, Germany, I can't even read so fast, UK, Switzerland, Hannover, Germany, oh, Kassel, Bremen, <laughs> India, I love it, Wien, <sighs> that's amazing. Hamburg, amazing ladies. Okay, so I will switch off the chat now for myself. You will, of course, see it and then we will start. And today I have no music because there's still, I have still, still an issue with my phone. So in case you want to have some music in the background, feel free to put on some music for yourself. Just be muted. And yes, and we have a recording. So in case you need to run or, yeah, man, I love it. So in case you need to run, you can know that this will be recorded and we will post it somewhere, maybe even on YouTube. And at the end of our session, we also have something special for you. So it is uh, worth it to stay on for longer because we have a surprise. And now we will start to dance for roughly an hour and you need to be muted it's very important because otherwise we will hear you and i thought we would have everybody muted just make sure you're muted girls okay i will have my clock to make sure that we're not dancing for 80 hours amazing so get comfortable in your space wherever you are, so make some room around you. And then we just start by shaking a little bit and you can shake like crazy, whatever part of your body you want to shake. Let's shake our right leg and our left leg and both legs and our butt, our chest area, our head, our arms. And then we start with just rotating our ankle and also into the other direction. And then you have your snake foot. We all probably know this from the YouTube video. And see if we feel a difference left and right. And then the other side, rotate your ankle and change the direction, really feel every single toe moving 
and then snake foot. So you have a full massage for your beautiful foot, the foundations for our dance. Shake it out and then knee front and back as far as possible to the front and as far as possible to the back and then rotate it and change direction. And then front and back again and shake it up. And then again, check how you feel on the side that you worked and on the other side. This constant checking in is very important for your nervous system to really get the information. And then let's do it on the other side because this helps your body to embody yourself more and then change the direction. <laughs> Start circling into one direction and then change the direction. And then front and back. And shake it out. And now you touch your pelvis in the front, in the sides, in the back, and just shift your weight. While you do this, you can just stay parallel to the screen so you don't have your butt sticking out and really elongate, elongate your entire body, stretch up. And then you go to the left, to the front, to the right, and around in huge circles. I showed also from the side. So really now you go push, you can squeeze your butt, really open your hips here. And then here, really stretch your butt away, 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 away. Do you draw a huge circle? And you feel your sit bones opening in the back and then coming together in the front, really opening, stretching your pelvic floor. And enjoy. And then you go from the other side to the front and around and see how this side feels. Maybe it's different. You can always touch your pelvis to awaken this area because this is mostly really disconnected in our daily lives. We are such a, a fruit society that we really need to connect to our pelvis. And our hands are very, very good in helping our nervous system really connect back from our head to our pelvis. Okay, amazing. And then just let's swing a little bit our arms. And here with the swinging, you want to really elongate your spine. You want to release your pelvis to the ground and also the arms, they go out to the side. So maybe you feel like a little electrical pull out. This is your nerves in your arms. They are so long here just awakening. Really feel like your shoulder blades are widening, your collarbones are widening, and your ribs are opening. And then we will start to swing around in circles. Big, big circles. And change. Keep breathing, releasing your pelvis. And then shake it all out. Very nice. And now swing to the front and to the back. Yes, really open your ribs and your pubic bones and hip bones are pointing to the front, but then you have this big twist. So your arm pull towards the front and the back. And you have this nice twist. Maybe you hear your lungs really breathing and opening, the air moving. And then shake it all out. Let's circle our hands and into the other direction. So this is the warm up that you know from YouTube. It's still relevant today. We still do the same things and I do this almost every day because it's so good. I just feel old and stiff when I don't do this. And now big circles. And it's just so nice to really juice up the body. And this is really nourishing. This novia fluid is nourishing your joints. 
You will always have this nice supple movement. And now we go with the spine. You can stay towards the screen, but I will be a little bit diagonal so you can see what I'm doing. We go down with a straight back. So we are pulling with our chest. When the head is relaxed, and then you bend your knees and you roll up. And again, chest pulls down. You roll up. Chest pulls down. And you roll up. And now we will roll down. Roll, 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 roll. And when you come down, you look up first and then you come up with a sway back. Again, roll down. And then look up. And the last one, roll down. And go up with a straight back. And now you reach out to the side and you bend over. Reach, reach, over. Reach, reach. And you can use this hand to help your body opening up the ribs. Over, over. Over, open your ribs, reach, reach, over, reach, reach, over. This is really nourishing your tissue, nourishing your spine, opening your rib cage. And let's relax it all. And then let's just do some little circles with the head. And into the other direction. And then shake it out. So we start with our first belly dance move. And today we just do this hip seesaw. So you bend and straighten your knees. Well, adjustment here. Yeah. So you bend and straighten your knees. What is he saying? Okay, whatever. <laughs> so you bend and straighten your knees and your hip is melting. You feel your feet softly on the ground. So your feet are melting, your hip is melting and you're moving your knees front and back. You keep breathing and the weight is evenly distributed on both feet. So you're not changing the weight. For example, now when we have the right hip up and then we have our weight more on the right leg, it looks like this. So I'm really leaving my center, leaving my center. And I don't want this. I don't want to leave my center. I want to stay in my center. So I have 50% of my weight right and 50% of my weight on the left. You just go on your own floor. You can always use your hands to awaken your pelvis and to help yourself a little bit. In case you're new to belly dance, you may, maybe you don't really know what to do, how to do it. So it's always just helpful to just guide your body and awaken it a little bit. And our hands are so more a way connected to our brain and our pelvis. So it's good, you can just use the hands and then inform your nervous system about what's going on in the pelvis. And don't be shy. It's a very natural thing to touch your pelvis. Okay, and then speed it up a little bit. Yes, very nice. Yeah. One to 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 very nice. Okay, so this was our seesaw movement with the hip. And now let's do some sliding. For the sliding, you really want to shift your weight from left to right. So you feel your feet on the ground. Really feel where you're standing, feel your right leg and your left leg, and then feel your pelvis 
really moving from side to side. And then the upper body, we want to keep it above the feet. So we want to keep it not moving. Check in, you can always touch yourself. Don't be shy. And now on the, you're not on the recording, so nobody needs to worry that they're on the recording. Like in the dancing session, it will be only me. <laughs> so don't worry. So you can touch your upper body and know that you're here. And then here, put one hand under your belly, under your navel, and then you can see, is this really sliding? Is this really sliding or am I doing something else? So try to get as far out as possible. Yes, very nice. Yes. Okay, and now we want to keep our hip parallel to the floor. So many of you will be having one hip that goes out will also come up a little bit. We don't want this. So we need to bend our knees a little bit. I will always come a little bit into the diagonal position so you can see me from the side also say the knees are softly bent. And then when I want to avoid that my hip just comes up like this, I will bend my knees. When I go to this side, I will also bend a little bit on the same side. So my hip stays parallel. At the beginning, it might feel that the hip that you're sliding out to the side is going a little bit down. That's not, not a bad thing because this helps you to refine this and differentiate it. So then let's slide from side to side. So wherever you're going with your hip, you want to bend the knee. So if you see yourself, maybe on the video, maybe you have me pinned and yourself, or if you have a mirror somewhere behind the screen, you can see this in the mirror. So when you have, for example, a pants or a hip scarf or something, you will see that it's parallel to the floor and it's not coming up. The knees are softly bent. And you try to really get as far out as possible. A really great massage for your intestines. Yes, amazing. And now, if we want to connect to our pelvic floor a little bit more, we will use another trick. If all of this is already much, just stay where you are. But in case you're already used to this kind of um, technique, then you can push with your foot into the ground. So wherever you're bringing your weight, there you push into the ground. So when I go, this is my left, maybe it's your right, I push with my left foot into the ground. When I go to the right, I push with my right leg. So wherever my hand is going down, this is where I'm pushing with the leg into the ground. And I feel an immediate activation of my pelvic floor. So the right side is activating when I'm pushing to the right and the left side is activating when I'm pushing to the left. So the good thing is that belly dance in itself, the normal belly dance, the traditional belly dance is already really good for the pelvic floor. It's a great pelvic floor workout. There have been even studies about incontinence that has been improved. So belly dance is good in itself, but essence of belly dance has this special pelvic floor integration technique where we juice up everything with pelvic floor integration. So like this one is activating the pelvic floor in the sliding and then this will activate your pelvic floor with every step you take in your future. <laughs> if you go up the stairs, if you run around somewhere, go to work or go shopping, you will activate your pelvic floor when you practice this a little bit. So of course it takes some time for the connections to really get ingrained into your habitual um, way of moving, but then you will have a heavy flow workout with whatever kind of movement you do. It's inevitable, pelvic floor health will be inevitable. 
Okay, so now we have done this and we have done this and now we can mix it all together to a beautiful movement. It's the Maya, maybe you know it already. So you have the seesaw, the soft melting seesaw, and then you have this soft sliding. And now we go right hip up, we slide out to the side and then we melt. So now my right knee is bent, left knee is a little bit straighter, and then I move over to the other side. I seesaw, I slide, I seesaw, I slide. Go to the side again, so to the diagonal, so you see more. Seesaw, slide, seesaw, slide. So I slide until I reach the very end of where I can go, and then I have my seesaw. So I bend this knee and I straighten this knee. And then I slide over and then I seesaw. Slide, seesaw, slide, seesaw, slide, seesaw. Take your time. Take your time with this. Don't need to rush. There's no rush. We're here. So I have one hour for dancing. There's no rush to get anywhere. And there's no rush to get this. So your body only will get this when you take your time. It's all really complex. It looks easy. when Once you have it, it looks so effortless. But the beginning is very hard. If you have never done this, maybe hard. So take your time. And then I will guide you once again to the same thing. So in case you lost me, we go up with this hip, we slide to the side, the hip is still up, and then we seesaw. So this knee is bent, this knee is straight, and then you slide over, and you don't change anything. You just slide over like this. And then seesaw, slide, seesaw, slide. So it's one movement after the other, but because of our amazing anatomy as women, we have these beautiful hips, it just looks like a continuous figure eight because I'm just not stopping. I just continue moving, but it's only one movement at a time. I don't mix everything at once. It's really one after the other. This gives you this beautiful refinement. And it's important to take your time and enjoy. And if you want, you can always think of melting down, melting down, melting down. And you can feel the floor under your feet. This makes it more of an experience, more of a sensuous experience in the here and now, connecting with your pelvis, activating your pelvic floor. You don't even need to do anything to activate it. And you should not squeeze anything that you know inside your pelvis because we are trying the pelvic floor holistically. So there's no squeezing here in essence of belly dance. Amazing. Let's all just take our, take our arms up. And feel, and feel a nice stretch. You can also now have this movement here, go a little bit through your entire spine and then inform a little bit your head and your arms. Everything is like breathing and flowing. Really also feel your pelvis. How does it feel to move like this? I hope it feels pleasant. If at the moment you're still new and it feels a little bit like a wooden doll or something or a little bit itchy and scratchy, just trust the process and try to melt as much as possible. Let's take our arms down and feel our hip, feel our hip melting and moving. Is there anybody here? Yes. 
what is up? I'm sorry, I asked my boyfriend. <laughs> so I'm ah, sorry. No worries, I need to be muted. <laughs> sorry. No worries, you must wake up. Very normal thing happening here. Okay, so this was our beautiful Melchi Maya. Figure eight down. And we can also integrate our pelvic floor here a little bit more deliberately. Whenever you feel that you're doing your weight change, you can press into the ground. You know how cats do these massages? Exactly like this. So you can imagine that you're this cat and then you're just massaging and pressing down. And this is so sensuous and so fun. And it's activating your pelvic floor. Keep breathing and pressing. Yes, amazing. Let's shake it all out. And now we do something with our upper body. We can also slide here. So also one little tip for everybody, whenever I'm just standing around, I never lock my knees. So in case you're one person who has this habit to lock her knees and then stand around like this or like this, don't do this. Bend your knees slightly to have a really nice upright posture like this. No tucking needed, just melting your pelvis down and bending your knees. So you can always check in, am I, am I relaxed? Do I have bouncy knees? Okay, so you have the bouncy knees, you're relaxed, and then you start moving your upper body from side to side. It's the same thing we've just done with our hip. And here you can also help yourself, you can guide yourself. Imagine I would come to you and I would just take your ribcage and I would help you a little bit along. And when I help you like this, I also touch you, you know, I, I do some little awakening movement here for your body to awaken. So for all these little muscles here, the intercostal muscles in between the ribs, they can awaken and work better. So you can also like awaken yourself like this. Just find a way that's comfortable for you. And then you can also put one hand under your breast and one hand under your navel and then see if you can notice that there's a lot of movement happening. Maybe you feel your belly muscles all activated. If not, you can also awaken them. We have uh, three layers of muscles here and then one large going like this. All of them can be awakened and activated. Very nice. Yes. So now let's not move our head. Let's try to make it really small. And we try to keep our head above our belly and then just have this upper body. It's a very small movement now. And then you can just take your head back with the movement. Very nice. And now we will do the same movement that we have done here, the seesaw movement, also with the upper body. Let's first really make a nice awakening of the entire side so the body learns that it can really stretch all the little ribs in between, uh, all the little ribs, the little muscles in between the ribs, and all the tissue and fascia on the sides. And then you keep this movement as big as possible, but you try not to move your neck and your head. You relax your shoulders. You can also put your hands on the shoulders to remind them what you want them to do, shoulders. So it's like I would be there with you, but you're touching yourself or you being your own teacher. Shoulders are relaxed. And then here we're working. So if I would come to you, I would also like lift your ribcage a little bit to remind your body what it can do. 
normally they just forget it, but they, it's possible. So you will gain new muscles, new muscles that you didn't know you had because they were dormant. And this will just make your entire silhouette more curvy and feminine. It will lift everything. You will walk straighter, you will sit straighter, and people will compliment you. And they will ask if you are a dancer because of your amazing posture. And then, of course, you are the essence of belly dancer. Yes, okay. See how far you can go up with relaxed shoulders and a relaxed neck and head. You can feel the activation of your abdominals and of your obliques. And now we combine everything again. So we have the right side up, we slide it to the side, left side up, slide to the side. Up, slide, up, slide, up, slide, up, slide. Same thing like with the hip, take your time to have one movement at a time. It's like when you're driving with a car, you follow the road. So you go the straight line, then you go around the curve, then you go the slip, you go around the curve. So it's not, don't do the shortcut. This will not look pretty. You will have some accidents. And really to have this more articulate, refined movement, the secret is really actually by doing one movement at a time. You can have your head slowly following everything your chest is doing. You can think with your breasts also, but I have seen that like in the beginning when you focus too much on the breasts, then your posture tends to be not as good. And if you focus on your rib cage moving, you will have a better overall alignment to your midline. Just really up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. Let's make it a little bit smaller and not move our head so much. So it's very small. And when you do movements bigger and smaller, then you can work on refining different aspects of this movement quality. So when you practice small for a while, you will notice that your bigger movement also becomes better. Test it for yourself if you already notice it after 30 seconds. Hmm. Very nice. In case you're wondering why my arms look so pretty, let's show you what I'm doing with the arms. So first they are just hanging come, uh, like nicely to the side like this, rather to the front than to the back because you don't want to open too much to have it a little bit more contained. And then let's just keep the arms here and do the same movement. So it's like you don't move them, you don't do anything. Just keep them like this and then up, slide to the side, up, slide to the side, up, slide to the side, up, slide to the side. Yes, so this is the beginning of the movement. And then we show, I show you the snake arms. So maybe you will not get it all today, but it will already help you. And we will have the video for you online for well, some time, so you can come back. And this one is also in the essence of belly dance, um, teacher um, in the essence of belly dance online training. So you can always look all of these things up. So you lift your right shoulder, and then you lift the right elbow, and then you lift your right wrist, and then you lift your finger. So shoulder, elbow, hand, and then you go down, shoulder, elbow, hand. 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 And shoulder, elbow, hand. How does it look? so interestingly round and not somehow uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is because let's come all together here on the floor this is because of a trick so my hands stay like this 
and my elbows will be moving in this way. For, to practice this, let's try just one hand. You have a soft elbow and then you move the elbow up and down. So the shoulder does not move, the wrist does not move, but your elbow moves. Can you feel all those interesting muscles activating that you normally don't use? And now straighten the elbow and just do this rotation. So because we have the tibia and fibula here, and then the fem uh, femur humerus, yes, sometimes I mix uh, bone names, uh, here, and this is a ball and socket joint, you can really turn your elbow like this. And then let's have it soft again. Yes, so this, this will be this beautiful optical illusion of a snake when we go up again. Let's do the same on the left side. So touch your elbow. Don't move your wrist and your shoulder. They stay where they are. They just rotate and you can help yourself and turn around here and then straighten it and then turn around like this. And now both hands on the ground, straight elbows. Let's rotate both to the right, both to the left, both right, both left. And in case this is a little bit not comfortable for you, then this is your homework because this move should be very natural. We are capable of doing this and this is really good for us. We're not always in the same position typing around on our computers. And now let's keep them bent and then right, left, right, left. Yes, and you can also practice this on a wall, standing or wherever. And then we get up and we combine this to the beautiful snake arm. So imagine that your hand is somewhere like on like we had it on the floor. Just put it somewhere like you would be touching a wall or something. So it doesn't move, it doesn't shift in and out. And then you have the shoulder coming up, the elbow coming up. You need this move that we just practiced. And then the wrist coming up and then the hand. And then shoulder coming down, elbow, wrist, hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand. That's just an amazing training for beautiful arms. It's on your own body weight. It's just making your muscles beautiful and it's very functional too and this will look pretty in all, any kind of dance that you will be doing so this little technique will make any arm movement you will be doing just better so it pays off to practice this now let's take the other arm and see if it's any difference but for me this is my left arm and of course i'm the right no, not of course nobody knows but i'm a right hand person so that's why i start with the right and now with the left is not my uh, best side so you will probably also have started with your favorite side and now you are there with the other side so see what is the difference and how can you transfer the knowledge and the skill from one side to the other it's like using the left hand um, like your non-dominant hand for brushing teeth or writing right it's a little bit complicated but it's good to practice this it makes you smarter it makes your brain grow so shoulder elbow hand 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 and now we do left and right interchangeably so we start right so we go up and then while this will be going down this one will go up so up and up shoulder elbow hand 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 to add a little bit more extra sexiness you can do a circle with your shoulders so just make it a little bit bigger but make sure that from the side it still looks like this and you don't start swirling around because this will ruin your entire silhouette 
So that's what we want. You can combine it with a step, step, step. Just do any kind of leg with any kind of arm, whatever comes natural to you. And then later you can change it up. Yes, and we will just place these arms, in case your arms didn't fall off yet, into our beautiful movement. So we have this upper body maya or chest maya, and then we have practiced having our arms just to the sides. And now you can always put your beautiful snake arm on top of it. So just follow the flow of your body, what feels natural. You have mirror neurons, so you can just follow me on the screen because it should really come out of your body. Don't overthink when you're bringing up which arm. Just let your upper body inform your arms when the time is perfect for the arm to lift. Let's shake it out. Yes. And now we come back to our hip. So you remember we had this nice seesaw where we were just bringing the knees front and back. We will refine this a little bit. And I show you my feet. There they are. So you see that my feet are nicely on the ground, roughly under my hip joints which are here so everything is nicely aligned and I just speed it up a little bit speed it up 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 super fast yes keep breathing in this fast movement and in case you get lost you just come back to the slower movement then you speed it up slowly, one to one to one to one to one to one. To one, to one. But this move still comes from my knees. So my knees are working and pushing front back, front back, front back, front back. I feel all my legs and my belly and my butt bumbling around. And this is a very nice relaxing move. Once you master it, it's a very nice relaxing move and you can do amazing things with it. For example, the sliding movement that we have just practiced. Yes, slide around if you can. And if not, just keep on doing your one to one to one to one to. So this is always, you know, when we build things up, and you feel like this is too much for you, you are your own teacher and you just stay with what comes easy. You go at your own time. Yes, and then speed it up. And keep the breath flowing. Stay as relaxed as possible. Sometimes it's really even easier if you do some other movement like shaking your head or like shaking your arms talking watching some tv or something do whatever helps you to let go of overthinking and trusting your body that it will find its flow if you find that you get stuck very often and it's probably that one of your legs is the dominant one and then it will have more tension than the other and more power and then it will just not be even the amplitude of both um both vibrational curves will not be even and then you just get out of rhythm and you get stuck you can just start building it up again and then you repeat and repeat and repeat and then one day you will just enjoy a beautiful shimmy that's really great for your pelvic floor. Any period cramps, anything that you want to let go of and for grounding, it just feels really good. Let's relax it all. And we start sliding our hip front and back. 
So this is the same that we did from side to side, but just front and back. So this means it's not just randomly somehow <laughs> the hip is coming front and back. We don't want to look like this. We want just to slide the hip. How can we do this? This takes a lot of attention and differentiation in our amazing core muscles and the pelvic floor activation helps. So put one hand on your belly, the other one on your lower hip, on your lower back, in your hip, in your pelvis, in your sacrum, and then you just slide front and back and try not to do any of this. See what muscles you need to activate in your pelvis to be able to do this. So this is a really personal learning pattern. So you will need to go in with your brain into your hip over and over and over again. Of course, not with your brain, but yeah, with your focus. So to really reactivate the nervous connection so your brain knows what your body is doing and your body can show your brain what it's actually doing. So yes so and then put one hand under your chest and one hand under your navel to see if you actually have this movement it looks a little bit like this so your abdominals will be differentiating so the upper ones stay like this and then the lower ones move like this this is a really beautiful exercise for toning, for digestion, for posture, for pelvic floor health. Yes, very nice. Yes, okay, so now let's connect this and this to a beautiful classic belly dance circle. It's a horizontal hip circle and you can feel your feet on the ground you can feel that you have like a circle that's also drawn with your feet so you draw the circle with your hip but then you feel that the weight goes over the left over the toes over the right over the heels and if you want, you can always close your eyes and really feel how this feels to draw the circle around your midline. It's going to be a very beautiful grounding and centering movement. And it's one of the real classics in belly dance. And change direction. And you can always use your hands to help your body find the right move, activate the right muscles. Always check in with yourself. And if you're already used to this move and you want to have some extra, you can press wherever your weight is into the floor to have some extra pelvic floor activation and all the pressing into the floor already helps you to walk so you can easily walk with all these moves when you practice activating your pelvic floor because then you can just lift the leg that is free for walking let's change the direction and press into the floor and feel this earthy grounded feeling look around yourself and check in with how you feel moving like this how this makes you feel and then let's just go side to side and press with the foot into the ground so wherever my hand is going down this is where i'm pressing down and the other foot can then slowly lift from the ground. So this is how you can have this beautiful 
walk with this nice soft curve without <laughs> walking like this. And later I'll lay our beautiful aids on it. But for now, we just do this and then we repeat the circles and we walk a little bit with our circle, just from side to side. And you can also walk around yourself. And keep your hip horizontal, really enjoy this horizontal move. And then you add a little twist on the side, and then you have your hip circle twist, circle twist. This is just layering a little bit funny things on top of it. You also have this on video just for the more advanced, right? So you see that with this pelvic floor activation, you have this other hip free to do a little twist on it. But in case you have never done any belly dance before, don't worry, there are videos for everything on the Essence of Belly Dance course and also on YouTube, in case you know me from YouTube. Okay, ladies, now let's go back to our beautiful chest and let's slide front and back here. We go front and back and front and back. So it's like almost the same, but it feels so different. Hopefully it feels different. So you can always have one hand under your chest, one hand under your navel. You can also feel that your nipples are moving front and back. And you can put one hand here in between your breasts and then press front and then press back. Press front, press back. So you're pressing with your fingers and then you go back and then you press against your fingers with the power of your chest. And then you go back, front and back and front. And look how nice this is for all your muscles and all your organs. And see that here we are parallel to the floor. So we have no lifting because this is what we will be doing now. Now we will just do lifting. Lifting is different. This is sliding, sliding, and this is lifting. So sliding and really sliding front and back on a horizontal line. And lifting is I'm rotating, you know, like here I was rotating, here I was rotating, you know, it's always rotating around a, a line, and then here, we are rotating around a line that just goes right through our, our chest. And you lift, you can think of your nipples lifting, or you can think of your entire chest rotating. You go as far up as you go down. Your shoulders are relaxed and your breath is flowing. So your breath is continuously slowly flowing. It's breathing like So it's not like because this is not what we want. We want to train our muscles to do the work. And then the diaphragm gets a really nice massage. So the diaphragm goes down when you breathe in and then it goes up when you breathe out. And then on top of this, you have this amazing movement, which is such a beautiful massage and stretch for your diaphragm, which is such an important muscle for your pelvic floor health because it's connecting to the entire abdominal cavity and the pelvic floor. And for your breathing, of course, the freer your diaphragm is, the healthier your pelvic floor is, and the better you can breathe. And breathing, of course, impacts the pelvic floor health too. Yes, okay, so you have done both, lifting and sliding. And now we mix it. So we go to the front and then up, to the back and down, front, up, back, down. Let's break it down again. So it's lifting, and sliding, but one after the other. 
we go front and then we lift we go back and then we go down front lift back down front lift back down and then this is a beautiful camel so it's a belly dance camel and always touch yourself to be sure that you're doing what you're planning and not something else and to help to awaken the nerve endings in all of your body so you can really do what you want and not just what what is available to you at the moment and all this mind body connection that you're practicing when you learn such a refined technique such a new and refined technique it really makes you smart it makes your frontal lobes grow and then you have just more control over your thoughts more control over your life and you are not so just like a slave to anything that happens to you but you're just more conscious and of course you also move better your body's healthier and your emotions can flow freely and just feels good too yes and because this is like a, all levels are here we will also just give you some more extras with this one so after you have mastered your upper body camel you can have the camel go through your entire body so you start with the upper body but then you have the entire body follow so it goes from the top of your spine down you can also put the legs like this so you have one leg where you have all your weight and the other one can be just like nicely to the side and then you have it like like a helping leg and then you can even move it and the other one is your standing leg change over and you can go left and right and left and right and for all these moves to have it a little bit more fun and organic you can always imagine to have long hair as this helps you to have a really good posture for your neck it's a little mind trick try it out or if you have long hair like i wish i had maybe you're lucky and then you can just use your own hair and you don't need any mind tricks very nice and then you combine it with a figure eight with lifting the heels so you have your figure eight and you have your camel on top so mixing it all together here this is like a soft delicious feeling it's like more an earthy but dreamy feeling and adding all any kinds of emotions will just make everything more fun for you and for your audience. Keep breathing. And then shake it all out. And let's come back to our shimmies. And open the arms. And let it come down. Open your arms let it come down and change the direction open your body feel the power of the shimmy going through the ground up into your body let everything shake you and change the direction of your arm movements you can look up if you want and then stretch and move in any way you want and add in some beautiful snake arms maybe with this upper body move that we have just done this my the upper body but just plain snake arms Let's shake it around and just stand here and feel how this 
makes you feel. Feel how this makes you feel. How are your feet on the ground? How do your legs feel? Do you feel connected? Do you feel grounded? How does your hip feel? Your pelvis? Did you awaken some sensations? Do you feel more feminine, more sexy, more grounded, more powerful? Really see what it is and keep this, cultivate this feeling to take it with you in your everyday life. So this is, was just without music. And if you put your favorite music on, this will be just all amplified. Feel it, enjoy it, and feel really how much power you have when you connect with your body, you connect with your beautiful, amazing body, and you give it this treat of this massage from the inside out and this loving touch for yourself and this healthy movement. <sighs> Thank you very much for dancing with me. I hope you had a great time. Now we can meet for a little Q&A. And you can ask me anything if you had any questions about any move or if you have any questions about our upcoming teacher training. And of course, let me know how you feel. How does this make you feel? And is there a difference? You can also say, oh, I feel frustrated. <laughs> anything is welcome here. Do you send a recording of this lesson? Yes we will probably post the recording somewhere where you can access it over a longer time and then we will send a recording. You feel the stretch. Ah, yeah, about the Maya, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's too, too hard for Bianca, but she's happy that she could um, join fabulous way to start my day in Tampa, Florida. Amazing, how fantastic I got to get back to belly dance. I'm so happy that you got back, that we have you back. It was so, so good. Coco, where are you located? I'm in Spain, in Valencia, Spain at the moment. Like originally I was in Berlin when I started all of this. And we have a lot of teachers all over the world. If you go to essencebellydance.com, um, like my home, <laughs> Essence of Belly Dance home, you will find all our amazing teachers and some of them are also here. Great to move my body if, uh, freely again. You're great, I won't need to repeat this. Yes, thank you, you're such a great teacher, explain so much. Uh, I hear now it's so much feedback, thank you so much. Just love, oh, you're so cute. Thank you so much for loving me. I love you all back. I really love you all. I'm so happy that you are here. Ah, oh, very alive, the pelvis, yes. Oh, there was a introduction for, for one who's good. can believe how much work that was. Oh, that's nice. Ravi is also one of our teachers to be who will join this year. So fluid. Thank you. Thank you. It was wonderful. Wonderful. You are just so nice. So beautiful. So good to know how good you feel. I love this so much. I love this so much. I wish everybody would know how good this feels and they would just have access to doing like this. Total hysterectomy, so I can't do too much. Yes, if it's a fresh operation, I can imagine. But then after that, hysterectomy is for people who don't know, is when, you, um, when the uterus gets removed. And then, of course, everything, the entire... Um, thing um, like a stat static like the entire um no because if you remove this 
this is missing in the body and then here the vagina is attached you know so a total hysterectomy means everything is a little bit different and then to heal the scar tissue and then keep everything moving and to also rebuild the pelvic floor because the body wants to heal the body wants to be have everything in alignment then belly dancing will help you like the gentle beautiful moves will help you for to heal and it's it's recommended by me a pelvic floor expert and by many other pelvic floor experts too to do this so are there also teachers doing online classes yes we have teachers doing online classes and you can find them on essencebellydance.com i will just type this dot com if you want to say some to ask something you can uh, raise your hand i see one hand is already raised so this is essencebellydance.com and then you look for a teacher in my area and then just look for your time zone roughly and then you will find a teacher in your time zone and most of them teach also online and everybody who speaks german i recommend wiebke is our uh, like my right hand here in essence and she's also assisting in the teacher training she's taught teacher trainings already for us but she's also now in the online teacher training doing the bonus workshops that we have for you and she has something called me time dance and it's in the morning for 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 the germans or like the western time zone the german european time zone it's 30 minutes in the morning not every morning but almost every morning and it's really amazing because it's just 30 minutes and then you you start your day feeling like this already okay so now let's go to christine your question you want to ask something christine are you still there yeah Ah, yeah let let me know what you want to know i want to thank you for this nice hour it was oh. great i like the snake arms and then i have to have to learn this i love it thank you thank you for thank you Coco. oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> i'm happy <laughs> and i'm relaxed oh yeah it's amazing thank you oh, oh so nice <laughs> from you yeah it's really yeah. so cool now we can just talk no it's so funny we have yes <laughs> my oh. ears are red <laughs> yeah. Joanne. Yeah. Joanne is one of our teachers for example teaching online in english a british lady Joanne what's your question I just wanted to say thank you as well it was really good for me um as I'm going to be starting the real life classes in March in the UK and um obviously it's a while since we finished the course now so it's really good to just kind of you know watch you doing the teaching reminding myself what's the important things and you know just feeling good about it and seeing the reactions from all the women you know kind of inspiring me you know that I'm doing the right thing here you know so yeah so it's just made me feel positive when I was feeling you know nervous so yeah I love <laughs> it yeah yeah it's really exciting when you start something of your own right it's so ooh, exciting yes and I'm so excited that you're doing this and that we finally have a UK our first UK teacher with you and you are an amazing teacher so I'm so excited for everybody who will get in touch with you. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So, and <laughs> also, if you want, you, you could uh, write some uh, of your details here because I saw your amazing ad. As oh, yeah. If you want, you can just make it because we will also have the, po uh, the chat. We will also have the chat somewhere so people can find you when you just put your, I think you had your WhatsApp number or something. Yeah. And yeah, thank you. Yeah, you are so like I'm happy that you're doing this amazing work. Ellie, Elise, Elise's, Elise's, Elise's iPad. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Elise. <laughs> Elise, nice to meet you. And nice to meet you. Thank you. That was really lovely. Thank you. Um, my question is, when you're standing and you say to press the foot into the floor to feel to activate the pelvic floor. 
Can you describe how you feel the activation and where you feel it? Like, is it in the very lower abdominals or like where? <laughs> very good question. Let's get all up and let's do this together. So, and I will have my feet visible. So you can really see it because there's also a refinement. So if you, I, I think you don't need my head for this. <laughs> so you will have my feet. So what I do, we can do this without the sliding, then it's even easier maybe. So what I do, I feel my foot on the ground, the entire foot, and then I press with my foot into the ground. So let's do this together and really make the conscious choice to press the foot into the ground. This can be a little bit hard at the beginning to really know what what I mean. So it's really, it takes some brain <laughs> matter to really focus and concentrate to get this pushing. And then you push and you really try to push your foot into the ground. And when you push the foot into the ground, there's a direct connection from the foot, it's all through fascia mus and muscles, uh, through the entire leg into this hip joint and into your pelvic floor. And I will show you, it's all of this on the right side. So this is the levato ani, the biggest, strongest pelvic floor muscle that we activating, but there are way more. And the entire right side. Let's try it together. Really press with the right foot into the ground. Press, 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 and then release. And see, sometimes when we release, we feel that we have actually done something. Let's do it again. Press and release. So you should be feeling it inside your pelvis. And then if you do it, if you're very well connected, your pelvic floor is already healthy and connected, like most women don't have such a good connection, then you will also feel it in your abdominals because the pelvic floor is the lower part of the entire cavity. So everything will be a little bit activated. But the main driver here is the pelvic floor and it's pushing down into the foot. And so this is like the starting exercise that you can take with you and do it in any elevator or when you're standing around somewhere in line. So just do it with one side and then just feel. Also, do you feel a difference on the right side, on the left side? And now let's do it with the left side. And this is like the step one. Like step one is making the connection and pressing with the foot into the ground with the entire foot. And then once you have this a little bit, go left and right and left and right. And then you will really feel the pelvic floor activation because actually you're doing it from your core. Like our core pushes into the ground. The foot can't just press by itself. You can, with your foot, you can press maybe with your toes. But if you want to press the entire foot, I, will, I always want to say statistically because I'm also an architect and you know like the force needs to come from here to press down. The foot can't just press by itself. It needs this force and this comes from your pelvic floor. And then to refine it, this would be like step two, is you use the big toe metatarsus, so where the big toe is reaching into your foot, this part. And this is actually the better activation. There's a better connection. Just press with one side. I will now come a little bit close up. So maybe you can just see that, that my foot is really pressing. So this one is pressing down. Press, press, press. The entire foot is moving, but what's actually the important thing is that this is going down. So I'm pressing. And then you press only with one side and you look for the connection. You really listen into your body. You observe and if you can sense some kind of sensation here inside your pelvis and then you go on the, to the other side and then you go left, right and left and right and left and right and left. And then once you have this, you can also immediately combine it with any of the belly dance moves we have done 
And then also with walking, with walking anywhere, you just use the um, big tomato tarsal. I'm extremely excited to know if you could feel something already. Yes. Oh, I love I it. I can feel um, my abdominals engaged quite strongly, lower abdominals. And then as, as soon as um, using the big toe, I felt it kind of um, lower down, kind of between the pubic bone and my inner top of my inner thigh. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this is amazing. So you really made the connection. And the more you practice this, the more you will feel your pelvic floor activating and also the connection because it's all connected. It's all, all part of a big fa fascia network. Amazing. You're really very good. I'm happy for you. <laughs> And your advice about um, actually just the image of that you're not actually pressing with your foot into the floor, but it's coming from your pelvis. That was really helpful. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's amazing. Thank you, Thank you Elise. Elise. Yeah. Ah, amazing. Yes, yeah, so Joanne, uh, our UK teacher, has shared her um connection doctors believe that years of practicing belly dancing has been the reason why i have been able to battle multiple sclerosis and fight um, the procession progression as soon as i step belly dancing my body noticed oh that's beautiful i'm so happy for you lynette thank you very much for sharing this it's such a nice story and i have so many other beautiful letters from women from all over the world healing many, many things with belly dance, including cancer, because it's so, it's a, just such a natural way to connect to ourselves. And you know, like in our tissue, we have the stored emotions. And if we don't access them, we don't free them up through movement. We don't take the time to feel and dance, to dance and feel. It all just gets stuck there and our bodies are not happy and this is why we get the psychosomatic illnesses this is like now what scientists believe the um who w h o they have released a statement about this a long time ago already so it's like really mainstream knowledge now just so let you know, because some people still think it's like fairy, fairy woo. It's uh, scientifically proven. The mind and body are so like basically one. I remember when I first started belly dance, I was so disconnected from my body and pelvic region. It feels so good. Now I have come a long way. I will seriously dive in now. Oh, so nice. So nice, Jennifer. Wiebke is großartig. Yes, yes. So Wiebke is recommended. And you find Wiebke on the very top of our Essence of Belly Dance teacher list if you go there, because um, she's just like my right hand. So she has the first spot because she, she comes highly recommended. I have a question, but cannot move my hand. Antoni, Antonia, yes, you can just. Uh, I see uh, Dina Ibsen also has a question. Antonia. You can talk now. Uh, Antonia, you can just unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I have the, the question on how to make the snake move from the um, shoulder more elegant because it, it's easy for me to move my hands, like to start with the hand, but not to st start with the shoulder. It just looks very uh very not elegant <laughs> i try it yeah would you like to come here on video and so, so i would uh, pin you and then uh you, you want to be seen uh, i think that i have my video on or not okay yes that but but i just wanted to know because now i'm pinned yes. and then you would be on the recording so people would see you oh uh, that's amazing so let me find you antonia how can i find antonia quickly is this antonia oh, this is this is so confusing antonia can you do something like yeah, this 
Ah, oh, that's you. Okay, so now I, I I had to guess that it's you, but I couldn't see your name. So now add pin. Now we both pinned. Amazing. So show me what you're doing. That's so we can really see. Okay, can you can you have your camera so we can really see what you're doing? So you don't see. Can you see yeah. me now? Now is good. Let's I'm go. Like I'm not sure. It feels like it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I don't know why, but it, it is yeah, a little yeah. bit problematic. Yeah. No worries. I have a very good tip for you because it looks now like you're really pulling up with your trapezius muscle. The trapezius muscle is this, is this big one. So you're pulling like this. And then it's it's very hard. It's hard. Your body says, oh. and then we, we see this. And let's just relax the trapezius muscle a little bit. So for everybody, I will show you. So if you go bring your shoulder up like this, this is your trapezius muscle. This is a very tense muscle for many of us. Let's just massage it a little bit and imagine that you have a sponge here and you're sponging. You can be like your own massage therapist, really make it a very hard you massage so give it your all and you can also move it a little bit and imagine that when you're squeezing you're squeezing out old all stuff that you don't need all the tension and when you release you have fresh water coming in because the muscles and the fascia, this, like we are 60% water. We humans are just a bag of water. So when you squeeze this, you actually really bring fresh new water into your cells, into your fascia, into your muscle. And then let go and see how your left side and how your right side feel. So that's the first step. So already this noticing the difference. Do you notice a difference already? Yes. Okay. So, but that's not at all. That's just the beginning. Let's go to the other side and also make it a little bit more soft. You can really grab also and really poke with your thumb into your trapezius. Whatever you can do for yourself. And then imagine that you squeeze out all the stuff you don't need and then feel how fresh new water, fresh cell water is coming and nourishing your muscle and your fascia. So all the sticky parts are just released and then new cells can be rebuilt, fresh new cells. So now that we have relaxed a little bit and shake it out. And now let's practice lifting the shoulder, not with a trapezius muscle, <laughs> but more like from the Im image that you have, like, you know, uh, like this hair we have here in our arm, it's like, like this big uh, hair, or you can imagine that there's a ball, and the ball is bringing your arm up, but your shoulder stays relaxed. You can also imagine that your muscles here, the uh, lats are activating and lifting and really just, oh, look how good it already looks, but you can relax more. Maybe you put one hand on your shoulder and then have it more, yeah. How does it feel, this lifting? Much better. Ah, so this is step two. You're not there yet, but, but this is your, your two steps for now. So this is like then the second step. Mm -hmm. And then you can do this on the other side. But now let's stay on this side, really make it elegant. So because what you also need is the, the way to turn your arm here inside. So now I don't have an arm joint, I just have a leg joint. But basically, your this is your shoulder. Like it's like the arm joint, it's there, right? It's too complicated to get it out. But it's just like resting here in this uh in this um this is from from this is ein Teil vom Schulterblatt. I I forgot. 
yeah, yeah. Your shoulder. It's just resting like this. So imagine that you can really nicely turn your arm like this. You can also use the hand to softly turn your arm like this. You just turn it inside. And you know, like the hip joint is really sitting very, very tightly here. But this one is just like leaning on and it has a lot of tendons and, um, and fascia holding everything here. And now what you want is to have this soft movement when you do your shoulder, elbow, hand, shoulder, elbow, hand. L now, come on, let, let's, let's leave it and let's start from the beginning. Hand up and now shoulder, elbow, hand, shoulder, elbow, yes. And you have this rotation, think of this rotation. Yes, it looks really nice, but it's not perfect yet. But you have your three it steps. It was a good question. Thank you for coming on video here with me. Oh, it's really nice to see you. I know I am unpin you. Amazing. And Dina Ibsen, you also have a question. Yes. Um, first of all, thank you for the class. I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> um, and yeah, I miss this. Um, I sometimes teach at my university, like with friends online, and I, I danced for a long time, belly dance in my home country. And I was asking myself, what kind of places or what doors does the teaching course open of Essence of Belly Dance in Germany? I'm living here. Where would I be? Where would I be allowed to teach if I had like, you know, the certificate? That's the main question. And if there are prerequisites, like if we have to show some pre-knowledge to get in. Yes, I love this question. So first of all, it's very important to know that belly dance is not something that's reglemented by anything. So when you get a belly dance certificate from Essence of Belly Dance, which, which is a particular method or any kind of, there are many different belly dance educations. It is not something like a university diploma. So, but the brand that is behind it, like the person that stands behind it and the, you know, like the, the community and the bigger the brand, the more credibility you have for wherever you're going. For example, with Essence of Belly Dance, when you have this certificate, you will be very welcome in any fitness studio, any Pilates studio, any yoga studio, any holistic, healthy studio. Because when, when you go there and you show the certificate and then they can go and see, check out the brand, see the videos, the teachers, the testimonials, then they get a feeling of what it is. And then they maybe they research it and then see the, all the newspaper articles and the TV. And then it just is um, like the brand of Essence of Valley Dance credits, grants you the credibility. And so this is very important that it's really, you know, it's like Zumba, for example, you know, it's like the brand. It's not like, um, like, um, you know, like a physiotherapist diploma or like a, um, like there are different kinds of, sort of, but this, this is what you can do. And we recommend always to start in um, something like university, Volkshochschule, um, any kind of dance, yoga and such studios to start as a teacher who gets paid by the hour because that's the easiest way to really get started. So when you are in the teacher training, you get a lot of training and a lot of practice time. So you practice with each other, but you also practice with your own students. And at like, like no worries, it's really, it's not scary. You, you get there by the time. And it's, very, it's a very smart system where you get more and more comfortable with every day that you teach and you really learn very quickly. And then, um, so this is what we recommend. And then later you can start renting a studio, right? You, you rent a studio by the hour and then you have your, for example, your Monday class or Monday and Tuesday. And then you get all the money that the students give you and you just need to pay the rent and of course taxes and stuff. But, but this is how you can make more money. 
Uh, wait, hello, somebody's unmuted. You have to be muted, ladies. So this is how you get, um, um, you, you can like build a business like this. But this means also that you need to do any kind of marketing. Of course, we have a marketing workshop. So we give you help and advice on how to get the word out about, about yourself and how to make students come and stay and bring their friends. But um, this is a little bit more, you know, like you would have more heads. So you would have like the, the marketer head and then the teacher head. And this can be a little bit hard at the beginning where it's just easier when you just have your weekly class and then you just really refine your teaching. And then once you have this, then you start your own stuff. And um, you can also teach online. You can teach right out of the box online you can advertise for yourself with any kinds of youtube or social media and we will always share whatever you're doing and a lot of our students especially in the bigger cities are very successful when the students come through us so when uh, students like for example in berlin or in munich it's so easy to get students from directly from our page so that's about where you can teach you can do whatever you want because you are just very very qualified and you have like such a great gift to share with the woman because it's such a deep training where you really get all the fundamentals you learn so much about the body about the muddy mind connection about how to have classes be amazing and inspiring you know so there's so much and then um, what you need before is actually nothing. And this is not because we're cheap and we just want to have uh, a lot of students who are not qualified. This is because we have seen many people, like for example, Zarina, who's now a mentor in our uh, teacher training for the second year. She had no dance experience, but she trained like the recommended five hours a week. And she really, she's like, she was like a rocket ship. And we always have these women who have no, no idea about dancing, but then they take it and then they do everything, you know, because the steps are very clear. If you follow it and if you really are all in with all your feelings, all your emotions, all your intention, then you can really become an amazing teacher. And on the other hand, we also often have women who are already belly dancers and some are really also like rocket ships, but some are really, it's hard for them to relearn. And it takes such a big effort from just copying something that they saw from their teachers. And then over the years, they were just doing always the same things. And then many things are not really healthy. And then this relearning. So it, it is like the same thing. That's why like it takes like, like, it takes a lot of like passion and fire and really the willingness to take your time. Even if you have, everybody has so much on their plate, like the job, the kids, maybe caring for parents or whatever. And um, so it takes willingness, but it's not like that you need to, to dance, like hardcore dancing for five hours. You can just take maybe um, half an hour every day and then half an hour you're just like lying and making some connections in your body the next uh, you're just dancing and the next you're watching videos and analyzing you know so but it just you just need to be involved because this is how you get the essence because what we do in essence actually really like bringing out your essence and you are already some kind of, uh, you, you said from your home country. So you are somehow connected to belly dance, right? Uh, yes, but um, it's Nicaragua. So it's not a country where we usually would think about belly dance. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a huge thing there. Everyone loves it. And we, yeah, we have a lot of um, teachers um, there. Yeah. And... Yeah, and I, I I used I was in a dancing group, so we performed, and that's actually another question. Um, I would love to perform again, but I I don't know here in northern Germany it doesn't seem to be a thing, so there are not no no dancing groups like uh, presenting belly dance. So maybe if you have a tip, that would be <laughs> great too. Yeah. Yes, yes, I have a tip. I don't know exactly about northern belly dance. 
um, like in this area, but I can tell you that I uh, started my career in Wuppertal, which is also not like, you know, and then later I moved to Berlin, but I started there. And um, it depends on what you want, because I knew that I wanted to reach as many people as possible. So I wanted to be on big stages, big events, TV and everything. So that's why this is how I branded myself. And I can really tell you like ABC, all the steps I take because I always uh, talk about this because we always have like some people who want to take it professionally onto a next level. And I did it really successfully to work with agencies and have all the right, you know, like all the right steps in place to be the, to present myself as the, really the qualified, amazing belly dancer that I was and not like some random belly dancer that dances in a restaurant, but the dancer who is there, if you really need somebody to be wow <laughs> on your stage, whether it be a celebrity wedding or just like a halftime show in a stadium or whatever. So of course I can tell you this and, um, and then of course um, it depends of if you want this, maybe you want to be in a folkloric group what, what 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 is what is it that you want um right now i would be happy with any group but if i can like really ch choose i more of the tr uh, tribal dance style like tribal belly dance but i am very open to learn new styles as well so yeah. ah. Yeah, but 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 would you like to be a belly dancer that has her website and is listed with agencies and then people just call you and then you come and you do your show or would you rather be somewhere connected and do more like this events with uh, where you have like belly dancer communities connecting so it's, it's is it more about like being famous and rich or is it more about <laughs> no no the second thing I, I would love to dance with others like yeah. Sometimes the solo is okay, but I, I like the shows where a lot of women are dancing together. That's like... Oh, I love it. So you need to be connected with Daya. This is one of our amazing teachers. And uh, also Daya, and I, I think quickly, and Sophia and Wiebke from our... And you will find them in our directory. And um, But I'm not sure about what's going on in Northern if they're like about you know like with this in this scene I'm really not so but I'm sure that they can help you because they do tribal stuff like Daya and uh, Sophia they do tribal stuff and they do shows and Vipke just knows many people <laughs> and let me think yeah so this is like my first idea and then can you just also drop your email here in the chat and then we will publish this and then and if there's anybody interested they can now write you directly but also uh, they will later find you and then write you and then in case you get too many spam emails you have to email us and then we just remove it and then it's not online but I just want to open this um, because we have so many messages from women who couldn't come so they will watch the replay yeah that's nice are there many men doing belly dancing? Is belly dancing harder for a male body because of the different hip body design? Very interesting questions. Yes, there are men belly dancing. And the interesting thing, it's like with cooking, you know, when men do this, then they are the professional stars because uh, like percentage wise, it's not many male belly dancers that you um, find like when you go to any belly dance classes. But then on the stages, you will always have male belly dancers and they are very good because men have different bodies. They have different muscles. You know that they have their, their muscles they have uh, stronger muscles that are more connected and we have more loose tissue and they have stronger tissue so they have different a different way of moving and of course they have different tips and everything is different but there are many amazing male belly dancers here is somebody uh, already dropped a link. If you want to drop your favorite male belly dancers here into the chat. Uh, and sometimes I also do a collection. Like when somebody asks in, from our teacher training, I also always drop my favorites. 
because there are many amazing belly dance teachers. Like one of my teachers, for example, is Horatio Sifuentes in Berlin. And then from the traditional perspective is Mogadawi. I learned from him a lot of folkloric stuff in Berlin, but I think now he's really retired because he was already quite retired back then. But there are so many, millions, millions, millions. Yes, they do this. Yes, this makes me so jealous. Uh, we've taught men, they are awesome. Yes, yes, amazing. Okay, ladies, then is there any more question here? Then let me, oh, I forgot the important thing. <laughs> I forgot the important thing. Okay, so because we thought about something, what can we do special to surprise you and to make you interested in getting into our teacher training? Because our teacher training is um, starting in April, in mid of April, we start with the first live module. So you go through this guided by me but you go through the pre-recorded video sessions for eight months, uh, eight weeks, and then we meet for the first time for module two. So we check in what you've learned, if there's some misunderstandings, and then you really see your technique and really understand what you're doing. And then you also practice already teaching because then you get get uh, like the secrets, like it's not secrets, but 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 I have a really cool technique to. Um, to teach your teaching and then you practice with each other and then you get your homework to practice with your first students which can be just like your mom your sister your friend your kids or whatever like just some people where you just practice saying what you want to explain and this interesting body mind connection when you try to communicate it's like a different level and so this is how you get into uh, explaining and teaching and then you get your feedback and then then we meet for the third module and you and, and you also give us a little bit of your homework so you just write us your problems and what you have experienced in the teaching and Sarina your mentor will give you tips and advice what to do better next time and then we meet again for the third module and then you learn more and then we learn uh, you meet for the fourth module and then you learn more so you, you we start with the basic stuff but then we also get into how to correct how to touch of course it's online so you will not touch but i will also have somebody here and then i will touch her and you will also teach her so you will live um say things that she should do and then we will see if she understands in the way you're talking and then you get the correction and the feedback and then I touch her so you can see how we're touching in essence of belly dance but through corona I also learned something because we had the first time that we had the online training I also had a live training in Munich and then from the online training I learned how good it is to give the verbal cues without touching and let the student do the realization in their own body without my help and so I took this knowledge from online also to Munich and I did less touching and it was very effective so it changed the way I teach now also so it's really thanks to Zoom <laughs> And um, so, so we, we do this, and then after you through all of this, you do your exam where you have your first class. It's only sixty minutes. A normal essence of belly dance class is ninety minutes. Like this is the optimal, but we do a sixty minutes class for the exam. And then I watch your exam, or Vipke watches your exam because we do everything together. And then you get a coaching. So we have a call and I tell you all the stuff uh, that is important that will really like turn the needle in your teaching. And then we see what you need. And it's like your time and we can do whatever you need to really, you know, like give you the pill, push the wind under your um wings so you can fly and soar and then you're always connected with us because you're always in our community so there's no way out of course there's a way out 
<laughs> but we are like every year we do at the moment we do two like one online with me and one live in Munich with Wiebke where you get to touch each other and then this will also change like at the moment this is what we're doing and we we're offering this for you so you can come you don't need to come but many of you just love to come and we are always there for you and any questions we have an amazing community because we're doing this for 10 years now so we have amazing teachers who have taught some even longer than me like I, I'm teaching over 20 years and they are teaching longer than me and um yes so this is what you have like all the community and all the connections and we are always there to help with whatever you need personal psychological body students business anything you need and there's one more question, but let me think. No, I want to tell you the incredible thing that we wanted to offer you. Because uh, for the people who sign up now, at the moment we have this uh, special bonus. And it is it means that you get to start now. So you get the Essence of Belly Dance uh, premium for lifelong, like which is normally like uh, $499. And it's 300 something, depends on the, how the dollar uh, is at the moment and so you get this for free right now so we can start already now with the premium training and then you get the workshop the business workshop which is like two hours we have it in English and we have it in German and you can watch both because the topics are a little bit different but they are very effective to really get you started with your teaching and you get all the templates all the emails you will need to write all the business systems to keep you organized to sort your students out and like make everything as easy and as effective as possible so you can focus on being the dance teacher and not the bureaucrat but you will have all your office stuff neatly sorted and so many beautiful ideas to have success so all of this we give you as a special gift on top of our essence of belly dance teacher training when you sign up for the early bird which ends on valentine's day which is february 14th and this was astrid's idea to have it end on valentine's day my amazing assistant that you maybe know already when you write us emails so but today we give you something special that they thought of also an amazing um team member here maybe she's also here I, I have no overview who's here it's too too much going on and um she thought it would be really cool to uh, have like a ruffle a shuffle like a giveaway of a one-on-one -on -one session with me so you can meet me one-on-one -on -one and we do whatever you want you can do pelvic floor you can do focusing like this is the special body mind connection therapy that i'm offering but i don't offer it to anybody i only offer it inside of our programs or you can do anything with belly dancing you can do whatever you want you will have one hour with me at your free time, you can choose any time you want, and then you just pick a time in my calendar, and we will do this giveaway for everybody who has registered for this year's training, but only until which day do we take? Wednesday only until Wednesday so when you're quick until Wednesday because you also will have to have the replay we can't just cut the people off who weren't in the replay so you can have this so if you want you can sign up but you can ask me any questions about the teacher training and let me see here somebody is writing something and then I see Berger has a question. It's also possible to join the teacher course without absolving the exam at the end because you don't want to. Yes, of course, you can definitely come and just do it for yourself and enjoy the goodness. And it's a life changing goodness. It's just for yourself and you don't need to do any exam. And all we do is just for you. So you can choose to take this on for yourself and become the teacher you can take this on for yourself to have the amazing technique and the embodiment to be a performer you can do this just for yourself and you do this exam because you just want to have completion and you want a certificate or you can do it without the stress and just have it for yourself and we have all the videos in the teacher training recorded and for one year at minimum you will have 
them for yourself and then later you still have the online videos from the teacher training but not the live zoom calls because one day also like to protect everybody some things just have to end you can't have like your you know like your old self online for such a long time so that's why we just have like roughly one year but you can do and Wiebke writes it's possible thank you for being here Wiebke um, and many women do this for themselves, but many women think they do this for themselves and then they come to the teacher training and then they get hooked <laughs> and then they just get addicted to teaching because teaching is extremely rewarding. Teaching is just so fun. Look at this. I have so many amazing women sitting here and everybody loves it. This is like the best thing. So it's such a good feeling. And you can have this when you teach because you, you're not only just like telling them steps, you just have like all you know about life, about philosophy. You can share it, like all your life's wisdom. You know, just, and you facilitate this incredible changes in the women and they do it all by themselves. They do it for themselves, all by themselves. And you just there fanning their flames and putting air under their wings and it's just amazing that's why sometimes it happens they just get addicted and they can't stop but let's see burger i'm excited what is this name is this <laughs> yes this hi this name uh, uh, is a swedish name i think oh. but i don't have any um, connection to this country yeah, so first I want to say uh, thank you very, very much for this lesson. And I'm a little bit late with my question. Um, I wanted to know, uh, would it be um, helpful for the pelvic floor when I press uh, the, my big toe uh, to the floor by every step I walk? Yes, you don't need to do it, but you can do it. Okay. You know, like, like sometimes you think of it and then you do it. Sometimes you don't think about it. You know, it's like, mm, you know, it's just like nice, you know, nice to have, but you don't need to do it all the time. You just, it's just like a little activation, like a little nudge. And then you, you do it and then you don't do it. And then your body just does it by itself, you know, mm -hmm. because it's just, you know, this pressing because we have, shoes that my husband calls Zerge, like grave, you know, like, like, not, not like graves for feet, mm. you know, like, you just, and then you just walk like this, because he has barefoot shoes, and I also have a lot of barefoot shoes, but I also have some, you know, high heels and fancy weird shoes that are not really healthy, but I have a lot of barefoot shoes too, and then we norm it would be very normal for our pelvic floor to constantly get this little activation and i do it like this because with this joint in your hand you can do also have pelvic floor activation like uh, we do this in pussy yoga so uh, if you press with your um with this here you can also feel it in your pelvic floor through this entire connection so you know like when you when you practice this your body will just reactivate its ancient natural thing that it's it's very natural but you don't need to think about it all the time like not this is a very good question yeah and i uh, feel it also in my gluteus uh, maximus in my oh. uh, muscle <laughs> that's interesting why why does let, let me check let me check i need to test everything huh interesting yeah yeah it's a little bit for me too it, it's like like the pelvic floor is the main thing but then the gluteus is also a little bit yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's also a little yeah that's so interesting what you feel yeah amazing ah okay let's see Wiebke is here and I want you to meet Wiebke let's see if I can catch her so she can say hello and Sarina is here it'd be really nice you can meet Sarina too I will have Wiebke is oh Wiebke I think I, no I unmuted you let's pin you there you are hello ladies I'm happy to be here and to dance with you today and yeah I'm happy to work together um, in the new teacher training 
and I will support you online with additional workshops and classes and there you can ask me everything and we will have more time to to work on your problems and to fix everything and yeah I'm I'm so happy to to do this work <laughs> it uh, really changed my life too and I danced before um, belly dancing but essence of belly dance is it's different it's more like a uh, it's for your soul and for your body and you feel different you feel more alive and more connected and you you are really more connected to other women and so um, it's with Tana and Renate and Serena so we are uh, in contact and we ask questions or we help each other and it's a really nice community and so you will find new friends and a new and your body as a new friend <laughs> so you will not fight your body you will work with your body and accept yourself more so it's a really nice journey and it never ends <laughs> Yeah. I love it. That's so beautiful. And yes, Vipke, you're right. Like the community is actually like the most, the craziest thing about it all. It's not what I expected. I started this and I had hopes for a community, but then what the women make out of it, it's really amazing. Like when you connect to yourself and you're so connected and then everybody connects to themselves, it just really changes how you see the world and then how you connect to everybody and then everybody who comes is always so amazing i can't believe this that we attract so amazing women yeah this is all for me also always like mind-blowing it's mind-blowing oh and yes and what Bibke said we will have special extra helping workshops for you so this is the first teacher train where we have extra workshops on two weekends two days we will have workshops only for you as an extra gift okay let's see where i can find sarina i saw you but now where is she oh there she is oh she's dark sarina you you're just dark at the moment let's see so remove pin from vipka sarina oh there you are I pin you. There you are. So hi everyone. I hope my Wi-Fi will stay because I was thrown out just a few seconds ago. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm also very happy to be here today and yeah, after last year to be your mentor in the teacher training again. And in essence, really the most incredible thing I never thought of is this community and this family and just before this call I met up with some woman from last year's training and it's so wonderful to find these connections all over the world and yeah I was one I started in 2017 with the free classes and I had no dance experience so everything was new to me and for me especially as mentor it's um, so important to support you with the commitment with to yourself because then you get really the most out of it and yeah just to be there maybe help you with how can I make appointments with my daily life and just stay focused with myself because I'm also working very big, um, big international company, and yeah, I, I'm just happy to be part of it again this year. <laughs> and I'm so happy to have you. Thank you so much, Serena, for being there and being you. It's amazing to have you, and also like the support you're giving. It's amazing. Let me check. So we have still a little bit, a few seconds, but I will go a little bit over time. So don't be 
uh, worried that we, I will still um, answer something. So remove Sarina, free Sarina. Can you please speak about the pricing again? Yes, the pricing is on our website. It is um, two. That's why I have asked it. <laughs> uh, 200, 2497 euros. And we have a payment plan. So if you want, you can also write us. And then we have a payment plan that stretches over 12 months or over three months, four months. Don't. Yeah, I where's the Astrid? <laughs> okay, so so basically that's the pricing, and the pricing doesn't change. So the early bird is not that it doesn't get more expensive. It's the same price. It stays the same. The early bird is just you get more gifts for yourself, and when you register until Wednesday, you can give, get a free session with me if you win. So we will make a shuffle. Is there anything more about the pricing that you want to know? Let me know, Patricia. I'm still here for you, really inspired from this. Best. Thank you. I look more closely at the website. Yes, and we're working on a new website. So there will be a new website for the teacher training. But for now, the old website and ask us anything via email so we are there for you and we can even call you if you are unsure if this is for you if you will fit if you have any kinds of worries call us and then we can call you so write us an email and we can call you back so i have been belly dancing since the mid 70s oh that's amazing that's before i was born and say it has been my medicine has gotten me through a lot of difficult times. I have not been doing it for the last four years and I feel the loss of doing it in my body. I am 80 and just started to teach uh, Sharon Shaharina Napa, California. I think that's uh, that's a, a place. That's amazing. Ah, Sharon, the Sharon is your first um, your first name. Sharon Fuller, I'm so happy to hear this and thank you for inspiring us all that we know that it's so important to never let the belly dancing go. And I love that you are in your eighties. We want to be like you. We want to be like you when we grow up. So let's see what was going on here. Yes, yes, yes. Mara, I can really recommend the teacher training. I had no experience and little connection to my body, but it really changed everything. I do not teach it, but it is an essential part of my daily life now. Thank you, Coco and Wiebke, because Mara uh, trained with me and with Wiebke in Munich. And she's a psychologist. So, you know, you can just do it for yourself. You can have the exam, like she is her exam, but she is just the other job and it's just informing her job. And it's not that she's standing there in class. It's also possible to join the teacher course without, yeah. So we, we already had this. Let me, is the teacher training in English? Yes, it's in English. But uh, it might be that we have some helping sessions in German. So it might be that we have, like, we will have four helping sessions with Wiebke. Might be that we will have one of them in German. And Sarina is, uh, speaks German. So you can have, like, all your Sarina stuff in German. And I speak also German. So in case you have any questions, you can always ask me. And um, the exam can be in all languages. German. Polish, Spanish, French, even Italian. I think that's it. So thank you for dancing and the good information. We connect with Ipka. Yes, amazing. Is there any more question, ladies? You can ask me anything. Otherwise, we will close our session today. And everything fine, okay. So I will make you all big here and I will, oh, I will wave goodbye. Thank you all for coming. It was really so beautiful to see your faces and to put faces to names from Instagram. It was really, really nice. Have a beautiful night, a beautiful day.